Well, hey everyone, welcome back to Shade Review. In today's video, we are reviewing the Oakley Sutros. And this particular pair of Sutros is one of the darkest sunglass lenses that you can actually buy. So really interesting here. But first off, link today's video sponsor, our own website, shadereviewstore.com, the absolute best place to buy designer sunglasses up to 80% off the original MSRP. Again, the website there is shadereviewstore.com. Check it out. The Oakley Sutro is one of the most popular Oakley styles uh, over the past couple of years, and I definitely understand why. They have this really cool kind of shield style to them, offering very good coverage from the sun, which makes them very, very practical. These frames also have an eight base curve to them, which can give that really good wraparound style to them. Now, as far as the dimensions of these frames go, these have approximately 57 millimeter lenses and an 18 millimeter bridge. Now, the reason I say approximately is because they don't really have a defined bridge or a lens size because you just have one massive piece of nylon lens that goes across the entirety of the frames and again no defined bridge here and because of that traditional lens measurements aren't going to be quite accurate so kind of keep that in mind basically this pair of sunglasses is going to fit absolutely anybody the frames are going to bend out uh, and basically give a custom fit to anybody's face and even small faces are going to fit pretty good and you can adjust these as well uh, so you really don't have to worry about these uh, not fitting your face now this particular pair of sunglasses have Oakley's Prism Snow Black Iridium lenses. And these are one of the absolute darkest lenses that you can buy. These are a category four lens. So for example, most Ray-Bans and most Oakley sunglasses are a category two or a category three lens, but these are actually a category four lens. So these lenses are going to block 94.5% of light coming into them, which is absolutely incredible. And if I have these on uh, right now, I can look directly in these super super bright lights that you probably can see in the reflection here And I'm not even squinting or anything like that whatsoever These are very 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 dark and category 4 lenses like this are actually illegal to drive with in most countries Because of how dark they are you're gonna miss road signs and you're gonna miss lights potentially uh, Which is definitely something interesting to note. You're not supposed to be driving with these frames whatsoever however, they're still gonna be great for uh, bicycling or motocross or you know, maybe skiing, of course, as well, or snowboarding. And these frames are built specifically for snowy applications. Now, uh, probably half of you have never really seen snow, uh, but if you have seen snow and the sun's out at the same time, it is immensely bright. I grew up in New England, so I dealt with that all the time, where it would just be overwhelmingly bright, especially if you didn't have a pair of good sunglasses. However, most of my sunglasses uh, are Category 3. So Oakley saw the need for this and developed these Category 4 lenses. And they're not the first person to uh, create a category four lens. It's just that's why they developed these frames. And these are absolutely incredible for wearing with bright, snowy conditions. Now, these Prism Snow Black Iridium lenses are an absolutely perfect combination with the Oakley Sutro. The Oakley Sutro here is kind of a hybrid between a pair of goggles and a pair of sunglasses. So you can definitely wear these as a replacement of your goggles. And of course, they're not going to hold on quite as good as a pair of goggles, but these are way more comfortable than a pair of goggles. Goggles, so definitely some pros and cons there. Now, as far as coverage from the sun goes, these frames are going to offer very good coverage from sun. So here up top, we can see there really is not a big gap to let sunlight in unprotected at all. And then here on the sides again, they have really good coverage because they kind of come in here. Uh, so they have very good coverage from sun. So overall, a very practical pair of sunglasses. Now, as far as weight goes, you'd think that this pair of sunglasses would be relatively heavy because of how big they are, but they're actually very lightweight considering, again, the size. Uh, so so these come in at 31 grams, uh, which again is very lightweight. Uh, and you can wear these sunglasses all day long without any discomfort. They feel really good with their uh, three uh, point design here. And they also have these really nice uh, performance design nose rests, which are made out of Oakley's unobtainium material. So the more you sweat and the more wet these nose pads get, the actually better grip that they give to the nose, which is definitely very impressive technology. And as far as the frame material goes, these are made out of Oakley's O Matter material, which has a little bit of flex to it here, but it's going to be very, very sturdy and very durable. So you can really bend them and kind of beat them up and they're going to hold uh, their form very, very well. So definitely 
really a very practical pair of sunglasses as far as that goes. Now, as far as optical clarity goes, these, like I said, do have Oakley's prism lenses, uh, which are based out of a nylon material. And the optical clarity of these is very good. Not as good as something like glass, obviously, but glass would be super, super heavy if you put glass in this huge shield. Uh, but they are definitely very clear. And these are non-polarized lenses. Oakley actually doesn't make these lenses with a polarized option. And that's actually for a reason. When you're out skiing, you actually don't want polarized lenses because it's going to kind of play tricks with the angles and whatnot. And you're not going to be able to read the snow properly. Uh, with polarized lenses and that's why I would probably say 95% of goggles are not polarized because uh, you really don't want that especially if you're doing high performance uh, maneuvers when skiing or snowboarding. Uh, so yeah, unfortunately, these don't have a polarized option, but I actually prefer non-polarized lenses anyway, but that's a subject for a whole nother video. Overall, the Oakley Sutro is a really good pair of sunglasses. It's gonna be great for a ton of different sporting activities. They are very, very practical. And as far as looks go, these definitely are very bold and loud. However, personally, I prefer something like an aviator style uh, from Oliver Peoples or Randolph, uh, where here, you know, I'm not gonna really rock these out in public unless I'm using them for performance reasons, of course. Both that being said, a lot of people love the way these frames look on face, and there's definitely nothing wrong with that whatsoever. So if you really love the way the sutures look on your face, wear them around wherever, that's absolutely awesome, and uh, all the power to you. Uh, now, as far as pricing goes, you're going to run you around $273, and I'm going to leave a link description down below directly to Oakley's website, where you can buy these sunglasses 100% authentic. Now, definitely be sure not to buy them from popular auction websites. Make sure to buy them from an authorized dealer, or of course, my website as well, shadyreviewstore.com, where we do sell these uh, for a big discount off the MSRP, and we can get absolutely any colorway uh, that you guys want. Just hit me up with a message, and I can get you them at a pretty big discount price, about $30 or $40 off the original MSRP. Now, the reason why I say not to buy them from popular auction websites is because there is a ton of fake versions of these sunglasses. So if the price is too good to be true on there, there's definitely a reason why. And they unfortunately do not always offer 100% UVA and UVB protection because they're illegal anyway. So why would they go ahead and actually add UVB and UVB protection to a fake pair of sunglasses? And that can actually damage your eyes. Now, I'm not going to go in great detail about that in today's video, but yeah, if you do want more information about that, I'm going to leave a link in the description down below about how uh, wearing a pair of sunglasses with no UVA and UVB protection is actually way more harmful than just not wearing a pair of sunglasses at all. Well, that's all guys in the video. Let me know what you think about these frames in the comment section down below. I'm definitely interested to know uh, what you guys think about these frames. I know they're definitely polarizing. A lot of people hate them and a lot of people love them. Uh, let me know in the comment section down below. Well, that's all guys in the video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give me a big thumbs up down below. And of course, make sure to hit that subscribe button and then you'll be notified every single time I upload a brand new video just like this one to our YouTube channel. Again, thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one.